YouTube, one when DJ D Nice did uh, his big live and you had Michelle Obama, Mark Zuckerberg in there, and etc. All of a sudden, they were like, "Do we cut it? Uh, we cannot cut it. The boss is there." And then they had like a million people watching that live that he played all night, and then all the the execs of all the the the, the record companies were there. And I believe that at that moment they realized, oh, listen, is the pandemic makes no sense to cut the DJs playing because I remember, like, you remember, just before the D Nice uh, show, whenever you would play music, even your own music on Instagram, you would have a red message saying we're about to cut the live, and now they just let music play because I believe that they talk to the record companies and the record companies tell that told them, yeah, listen. It's, it's better we monetize after uh, your problem right now with the with the the, the, the replays of, of, of your of the live show is that most uh, every every record company when you have the, the content ID which is a system that recognizes your own music you decide if you want to peop let people play it or if you want to track and monetize or if you want to block and it depends from an artist to another some people don't realize that hey listen if your music is on youtube on somebody a dj that is playing you make money so mm -hmm. listen i have some of the videos some of the videos that bring me the most money are kizomba mixes from djs that are just playing one of my songs but, so but, me but I'm, i always let people but it's really the i think the platforms are what what and it's not new you know just to you remember, I mean, those of you who've been on Twitter before the at sign, when Twitter started, when you, when you wanted to talk to somebody, you would put at and uh, the name of the person. It didn't, it was not Twitter that created our rule. It was us, the users. We, we just started talking to each other this way. And at a point, Twitter made an update where when you put at, it would connect to the, to the, to the, the profile of the, of the person and they are following the users and the more there's a competition and the more there's a platform that say yeah DJs can come then the other platforms are like yeah maybe we should let DJs and and of course uh, they, they don't want to get sued by record companies so they they kind of have to follow what the the record companies want but then at the same time the record companies will follow what the users and uh, and, and they don't want to miss out because if you have, if D Nice, for example, was on YouTube and all these things happen on YouTube and you had like the, uh, sir, the, the, the big, the big owners of, of, uh, of you, of YouTube in there saying, this is amazing. And all of a sudden the, the live is cut because of a copyright. They would be like, what the hell? And, and it would be, uh, it would go, it would get on the news and it would be bad press. And that's when they change the thing. So the fact that there's different platforms helps. Uh, if you see now, when you do your lives, your lives are not cut in the middle. Maybe after you can get blocked. I mean, your your video no, no, can no. get in blocked. Facebook, they're, on Facebook, they're cutting the lives, man. On oh, yeah. Facebook, yeah, I know. Like, just today, I know. they cut the lives all the time. But this is the thing. And I think that now, because because with this festival, we really have something going on. This is the second edition. With the type of names we bring in, the type of lineup we got. now, we, mm -hmm. and, and also, our own repetition, as Jojo was saying, we have now the capacity to... And actually, I'm going to speak to you maybe with, uh, about that offline. Let's, mm. I need to sit down with these with the guys at Universal or have a talk with them, man, because like it makes no sense for them to. I mean, not that we're going to influence, but like at the end of the day, what we're doing is bringing, you know, uh, DJs together, right? Remarkable names and, and inf up and coming, established, whatever, giving people a good time, but also helping DJs, you know, uh, as well. Hopefully, uh, through donations. Mm. Um, and such, you know, make, make a little bit of money. So those record companies have all the interest in the world, just like what you're doing with your label or I'm doing with my label. It's like, look, use the content. And of course, we're going to be monetizing afterwards, but we're not going to block your, your video because it doesn't matter how big we might be. There's never yeah. enough of, of, of spreading the sound and the, and the name of the, mm -hmm. of the artist. So it's like, I don't understand this whole concept. Bro, for me, it makes. I mean, I understand it, but I think it's such a backward thinking way of doing business, man. It's, it's like 
but you have to understand how you have to understand how the how the platforms work you know um what up soñador you know those platforms when they were created it's like just like the whole internet the whole internet was uh free for all and 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 there was no rules right mm. then uh interesting he's here but there's nobody so when the whole when the whole internet got uh created right you had um I'm trying to add Jojo, but there's no image now. Jojo Flores. Jojo Flores, vraiment, Internet du village, uh, Montréal, uh, je ne comprends pas. And, 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 and he lives, in, he lives in, uh, in, 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 the, in the dope areas of Montreal. He must have proper internet. Yeah, he he must have proper internet, but you uh, see? Uh, you know, buddy, the... the, the when those platforms started everyone was putting everybody's video in there right and that's how youtube became super famous like all platforms is because of piracy usually or porn then the record company started saying hey we have to be on that platform and we have to put our videos but when they were going to put their videos they realized their video was there with millions of views sometimes like what so they start suing and suing and suing so that's at a point after the big 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 uh, uh and and there was a lot of people who lost their channels at that time and you know people they just put the videos not because they are trying to make money because at that time there was no money made i mean there was no monetization for your channel but youtube was making money right and they start saying uh and you have you have somebody imagine somebody who loves Bob Marley would have a channel with all the Bob Marley music videos, right? And then the platform would be like, yo, I, I, oh, he's in the car. Yeah. Look at that. Yo, sir, sorry, guys. My, actually, my phone died and then I had oh. to go pick up my food. <laughs> ah, nice. That's what's up. I should, I should pick That's up my up. food myself. Well, and so so then the platform had to 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 do deals with all the record companies so that they could continue to operate without being sued. And that's how the record company said, hey, we don't want this. We don't want that. We don't want people to put our videos without a consent, et cetera, et cetera. And, and, and then we want to make the money. So they, they gave the choice to the to the to the, the record companies when when your video and i know because i have i have this i have the system myself i have a content id when when your video or your music is on somebody else's channel what do you want do you want to track it do nothing do you want to monetize which means that there's going to be advertisement and you will make money from somebody else's channel or do you want to block And the problem there is that some people are smart enough to understand that every money is money. Like me, I make half of my money from my channel and I make the other half of, from everybody that's using my music in their wedding, in their dance videos, etc., etc. And But some people who don't understand or who are, you know, who are thinking backwards, For example, some of the yeah, songs that you guys thing. play, if you have a song from a small label that is like, it came out 20 years ago, and the person's gonna be like, no, 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 I don't want my music on YouTube because it, I cannot sell CDs. Bro, there's no more CDs That's being sold. The and, and they don't care. And those people, those are the people who will create problems sometimes because YouTube will recognize their song and the, the, the only thing they will do is like, okay, what did they ask? Oh, they say block, they will block your, your, your thing. So what you, But so what you can do about this for now is you're gonna have to re-upload the, the 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 content one by one and just cut the parts where yeah, you have a song that is yeah, you know it's it's, it's, but uh, it's I mean, ugly but, 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 but this is the thing this is the thing this is the yeah. thing on this one it's one song the life of yeah. yesterday this Saturday yeah. was one freaking song and those yeah. fucking idiots they're cutting the whole live because it's Universal Music Group. 
But the funny thing is, I'm gonna reach. I'm gonna reach out to my. Uh, I have to send them a message. They need to stop with this shit because some other people can play their music. They don't stop. They don't block them. But one stupidity. By the way, you well, can give you me know, a good tea, bro. You know, no, but you know, um, you know when uh, D Nice was doing his stream. Yeah. Remember when D Nice was doing his stream on Instagram? Yeah, we talked about it. Somebody, somebody yeah. from Instagram, somebody from Instagram noticed it. I, on the back end of Instagram, that I guess somebody that worked for Instagram, they reached yeah. out to uh, Zuckerberg. Yeah. And said, "Yo, look, this thing is going viral." What and do you know, we do? Zuckerberg gave Zuckerberg gave them the green light to keep doing it. That's why he can keep doing it. So there's certain guys that can keep playing without getting knocked off because they're allowed to. You understand? Yeah. But the smaller exactly. guys, the the guys that don't have a following, yeah, they sort of get knocked off because they don't have that clout or the credibility that the, that these guys have you know mm -hmm. look at tony touch tony touch is still doing stuff on instagram that gets, doesn't get knocked off d nice doesn't get knocked off you know but yeah what and i try to get on there forget it you're done listen i was i was doing a <laughs> i was doing a versus me with nelson freitas so we were playing all our classic only our song and we own all our masters right at a point i'm playing my own song and I see a message, a, a red message on, on Instagram saying, in 30 seconds, if you don't stop playing this song that belongs to Keisha on the Keisha profile, your your live will be cut. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, yeah, that's crazy but, to me. That's just but crazy. I understand even, that. Even, you, know, you know, it happens to even record labels that own the record. Like, you need just the record label here in Montreal. They can't even do like live broadcasts on their channel with their own music because they get knocked off. It's crazy. Yeah, because what you have to do is you have to do what I did for my channel, and this is why I, I and this is the reason why I only play my own music in my channel. Uh, in the back, you hear everything you hear in my show are my own masters, because my channel is tied to my content ID on YouTube, and they know everything that belongs to me, and they know that my channel is whitelisted. So I can go on my YouTube backend, for example, and say, okay, Body Salva channel, Jojo Flores channel, whenever they play my music, they can do anything. They can play it, they can monetize, etc. They are whitelisted and you have this option. So the problem here now is because it's a, uh, it's um, uh, when you, when you sign, for example, on a, on a big record label, you might sign, you might have your master and do license for Canada with one company, the US for one company, uh, France for another company and the Caribbean for another company. So all these companies have to agree that when the video is played, for example, in the Virgin Islands, it's going to be the deal that these people decide with YouTube that will work. And it's very complicated. And when you're a DJ, you just want to play music. The system has some automatic things that will either cut or not unless exactly you have either your channel has been uh, cleared by every every song that every record label or you have a deal directly with YouTube uh, to 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 be able to to, to play a thing and I think what's that's interesting gonna have, that's gonna have to be the, the move we make man Jojo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Be, if you talk with you them talk to, to the people on YouTube and, and but, uh, but and there's a big difference video. There's a big difference between now and last year because last year a lot of YouTube yeah. channel could not even play live. You've been playing music from you and other people for 16 hours and your live was going and it's only now they only do the check after after you're done playing that's when they you receive all yeah. the emails oh you use this song from that person etc. Yeah. So at least now you can choose you can you can you can you're going to be able to cut your your eight hours or your 16 hours into 16 different videos from every set from every person and if there's a problem from one song you can just remove it just that moment and the rest can continue yeah. and, that, and, and everybody yeah, the makes problem the, with us is, the problem with us is that it, it, it really messes up the flow of the mix you know when when you delete a track from a mix crazy. yeah no yeah I know it's it's a nightmare. Listen, I, I had this problem with my own song, uh, and I had to I had to speak with YouTube and tell them, hey, I, I have a mix here, and this is my song. This is my master. 
but it was a rec another record company that claimed the publishing of the song saying, oh, yeah, it's the same melody from our song. So I had to send a message from these people and tell them, hey, uh, I'm sorry, but this song belongs to me, the publishing belongs to me, the master belongs to me, remove your claim, please. And only after two weeks, they were like, oh yeah, it's true, sorry, and then they removed, and then I could monetize my own video. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the wild, wild west, my guys. <laughs>